uh, but we uh, try to keep our website updated. Uh, we have field trips to research sites around the country and more recently uh, even to Mexico. Uh, students apply for these trips. They're announced. The opportunity to go on them is uh, announced through the website and through email and other means. Students apply and they get selected and it's typically I think on the order of 20 students. They get to go to a wide variety of really interesting research sites. Some I would love to go to myself. They've been to places as far apart as Alaska. Next month they're going to Puerto Rico uh, and uh, various other places. Uh, there's also uh, travel awards to the ESA annual meeting. Uh, under, this is for undergraduates. No, all these are for undergraduates. Uh, you can apply for a travel award, come to the ESA annual meeting with expenses paid, and be matched up with a mentor, typically a, a senior scientist, who will introduce you to people, find out what your interests are, help guide you to choose among these you know, hundreds of paper sessions, literally. Um, and there's also uh, particular social events that are for the students themselves, dinners, lunches, uh, workshops and so forth so that you can get to know the other students that are involved in the program and you know kind of find your identity in a group of 20 out of these several thousand people that are floating around you. Uh, there's also an annual leadership meeting where a number of the SEED students and the uh, staff and our advisors uh, in the uh, science community get together somewhere for several days and explore what's the program doing right, what could it do better, what new direction should the program uh, follow? And again, see students get to attend this meeting and participate in figuring out what the program should do next. And finally, uh, Teresa and her, oops, one more there. Teresa and her folks have uh, starting to establish some international relationships. Uh, currently, there's uh, one with the uh, University of North